Good morning, everyone. On this occasion, together with the group made up of Karen Barrios, Santiago Álvarez, Sebastián Durán, and Sergio Erazo, we are going to explain you about France on the new Silk Road. Through the situational analysis, we will carry out an analysis of the situation of international relations and foreign policy that involves France and China like actors on the Silk Road, in order to achieve a very large association agreement in terms of relations. In the structure of this position, we will have the question with its respective variables, followed by the timeline with the important events, an onion maps of actors, and finally a conflict tree with cases, effects, and dynamics. First of all, we have the research question, which is What is the role of France on the Silk Road? Through which we want to know how the relationship of the European country with the China is for a link and be taken into account in one of the largest associations in terms of foreign policy and international relations in the world. Through the structuring of this question, we analyze the positions or influence of France, knowing that is one of the strongest economies in the world with a country like China, which is still called in the process of development, but which in recent years has been direct competition from the United States for having the strongest and the most dynamic economy in the entire world. The question will be analyzed through the independent variable of France foreign policy, which has a lot to do with its participation in the Silk Road and for foreign trade, and also the dependent variables that are the economic and commercial interests of the countries, and on the other hand, international relations. Important factors because they define the term of the associations that the states see to really see a good benefit to a diversify their economy and generate economic growth in order to according to the structure it has and does in order with their policies. Timeline. In 2013, the President Xi Jinping launched the One Belt, One Road Plan, which is based mainly on development and investment programs in Europe, Asia and Africa. September 7, 2013, he gave his first speech where he spoke about the subject at the Navarsayan University in Kazakhstan where he explained the importance of the joint construction of a, an economic belt through the Silk Road. Uh, on April 21, 2016, the first trip of the economic belt of the Silk Road is made from the city of Wuhan, China, to line French. This cargo transport multiple me mechanical, electrical and chemical products and will take from the city the Lyon will bring French products to Wuhan. Highlight that it is the first time that this is carried out with a distant greener than 10,000 kilometers. March 23, 2019. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte signed an agreement in order to incorporate Italy into the One Belt, One Road plan. This being the first G7 country to join this economic agreement. The countries that make up the G7 are Germany, Canada, the United States, French, Italy, Japan, and United Kingdom. Two days later, the President of China meets with President Emmanuel Macron in order to incorporate him into the new Silk Road. In this meeting, multiple contracts of billions of dollars were signed and renewed. However, Emmanuel Macron made clear his distrust of the plan that the seeking to increase in world hegemony. On July 12, 2021, the G7 led by John Biden met in order to seek an infrastructure 
plan that will stop Chinese hegemony. In this way, the creation of the Build Back Better for the World Plan was plain, seeking to be an alternative to the One Belt China's One Road this plan. Seeking to respond to the tremendous infrastructure needs in loan and mainly income countries, the White House said in the statement. On your actor, positions on France. France has been a host country for meetings between the China's president, the president of the European Union and Chancellor Angela Merkel. China positions. The new ski road project will contribute the functioning of the world economy to the multipolarity of the world and China is very excited to see France support and to see more countries around the world joining this project. Interest in France Saint China introduces the One Belt, One Road initiative. This involves more infrastructure projects to connect Eurasian countries with China. China interests. China is generating a new gallery, whether it is obvious or not. The generation of debt for the beneficiary countries creates a new financing gallery. This new gallery will be a financial system parallel to those international with the Washington. News de France The French president said that his country and China have the same perspective to work on climate change. Needs China China is currently is a great power. It has proposed a discursive construction for the Silk Road to be the fundamental tool for global recognition of his leadership and influence in the different nations. Indeed, the main geographic interest remains Asia, but according to office, China's communications, all countries and continents can be included. The project was launched in 2013 by the President Xi Jinping and includes a huge series of development and investment programs including Asia. Europe and Africa. Since the president announced his initiative in 2013, China has provided hundreds of millions of dollars in loans for the construction of power plants, ports, airports, and railways in 138 countries in Africa, Sudest and Central Asia, and Europe. The new Silk Road initiative, however, has been the China's present international economic and political pillar. And it is unlikely that I will now abandon her. The central problem lies in the campaign of the Asian giant where it refers to the strategy used by China to trap development in underdevelopment countries, which is commonly known as debt diplomacy, a debt that can be used to avoid criticism of human rights in China or to obtain favorable decisions around appointments to international positions or ever territorial disputes to expand its influence around the world. The main cause will be many of the countries that received the loans from China are now facing enormous difficulties and they have informed Beijing that they cannot pay their debts. If China structures or forgives debts, it could put its own financial system under pressure and provoke a negative reaction from its population. Finally, here we see the reference, that is, academic documents that were the basis for the research on France on the new Silk Road.